Hey guys, it's Ashley from Bookaholics Anonymous, and this is another book talk with, for um, I Have Lost My Way by Gail Foreman. So you guys, I've read, um, what's you, I've read, I read her first two books, um, If I Stay and Where She Went, and I really adored those books, and I, I just, I really loved the, I loved them, and I loved the writing and everything, and um, so I figured I'd try, I believe this is her newest book. And I just wanted to try it to see, you know, if I still, I still had the same feelings because I had read If I Stay when it first came out, pretty much. And I think it took me a while to kind of get into the story, even though it's a short, really short story. It took me a while to get into the characters and to understand where the characters were going, I believe, and just kind of connect with the characters. Um... There's three characters, in the, there's, so there's three points of view in this story, and they didn't know each other, um, and they just, their lives just kind of, kind of, um, melted together, I guess you could say, I'm, I'm not really sure. So there is Freya, who is, like, a, a singer, sort of, and she's just becoming this solo artist, um, and so she's trying to find her, find her voice, so to speak, because at the beginning she's at the doctor's because her voice isn't doing some weird stuff or whatever. And so that's where we kind of start meeting her. And then there is, um, Nathan, Nathaniel, who is actually just arriving in New York City and he's kind of like, I guess backpacking through the city and trying to find his way because I think stuff happened to his dad and his family and so he's just trying to find uh, find who he is and so you got him and then the uh, third one is I know I'm totally gonna say this name wrong I know um Heron Heron I know I'm probably saying this completely wrong and on this one, it says that he's um, making plans to run away from everyone, his family, and who he is, kind of. So, those are the three, and it kind of tells their backstories throughout the story and who they are. And um, Heron is actually this, his, he's trying to find his identity. I mean, I think he knows. He know, well, he knows. He's not trying to buy it. He's just, he doesn't want to disappoint his family because they have these, I guess, strong morals or whatever. And he realized that he's, you know, kind, he's, he realized that he's gay and he has feelings for this other, these other, this other guy. And he has been dating this other guy in secret. And it's just, and finally it just, um, this, the guy that he was dating broke up with him, and so he's trying to figure out kind of who he is, and it's just, no, it's, I loved it, it's, and then for, and all three of these characters eventually meet in, like, the most, like, weird way, it's not, I mean, it's a weird way, but it sounds like a painful way to me, too, but, so once their lives mix at this moment in time and stuff they try to go their separate ways but they realize that they kind of need each other and each other they need each other in their lives to kind of balance out whatever and show them who they really are if that makes any sense whatsoever so the way they meet is Freya, Freya is walking through the park or through something, talking on her phone, not talking on her phone, but messing with her phone and seeing that her, her sister is getting engaged or got engaged and is getting married and she didn't know any of this. And somehow she manages to fall off this, off the bridge or whatever that she's walking in the park. I, I'm not really sure, but she falls off 
like a bridge, I think. <clears throat> That's somehow in the park. And she falls onto, I believe she falls on, she falls onto Nathaniel. Like, literally falls on him. Okay. Like, knocks his ass down. Falls on him. <laughs> and then the only, the person that saw this is Heron. And he kind of recognizes her after a while as being this kind of up and coming singer. And that his ex boyfriend was in love with. So he gets this idea that if he starts helping her and all this, that he can find a way to get her to go and see his ex-boyfriend and then everything's gonna work out and it just from there it ensues and stuff happens um and it's just like their lives couldn't have met at a better time I don't think because they needed somebody to help them realize who they are and so they start, they, she gets up and her and her Heron try to take Nathaniel to the ER and they're with him and it's just like, this is, it's, it's an interesting story. Like the way it's woven together. I'm not going to lie. It did take me a while to get used to it. And after a while I did really enjoy finishing it up and reading their stories. Um, I don't know. I think can't really say which story of theirs I liked the most. Like, I loved that they kind of went, there was a part where they went with Heron to his family's house for lunch or dinner or some kind of get-together <clears throat> because he was thinking about running off and leaving them and not telling them anything and just ignoring it because his family is thinking that he's going to get married to this girl and he's going to move away, you know, and then he's got other plans, you know, and it's just, I don't know. But so once these three are at his family's house, stuff kind of happens and it's kind of let out who he is and all this. And just, I don't know. I think they needed each other really bad. At the, and, it seems like everything starts to get better at the end. And I really enjoyed it. I mean, I definitely like her writing. I definitely like the way she tells her stories and the characters involved in her stories. So if you haven't read it and you enjoyed, if you enjoyed If I Stay, if you've read that, um, it's definitely not like If I Stay, but it is. It still has those... those moments where you're just like, oh, you know, wow, and what's going to happen with these characters. So yeah, definitely check it out if you haven't. It's a tiny book, you know, whatnot and stuff. Just yeah, definitely check it out. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, let me know. Leave it down below. And if you've read the story, um, definitely let me know what you thought about it or let me check out your video if you made one or whatever. I'll see you guys later. Bye.